Hello, and welcome again to another Time Sticking YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing the origins of the digital watch, a little bit of history leading up to what we know now as a modern digital watch. So stick with us through this intro, and we're going to have a look at this history. In today's digital age, it's really easy to envision a digital watch as more of a personal computer. This is especially reinforced by the existence of smartwatch technology, as well as the more popular designs of digital watches from the 1980s. However, digital watches started out far from binary computing and batteries. Long before texting, GPS, alarms, and whatnot, and wrist watches, pocket watches were actually at the forefront of digital timekeeping. In fact, the first digital displays date back as far as the early 1800s. Though the trend of digital didn't really stick until the 1970s with the advent of electronic movements, these original digit display watches held their own fascination in their day. This fascination, however, didn't always last. In the old days, the emphasis on the display of these proto-digital watches was on the digit part of digital. These watches were mechanical timepieces that timed the reveal of new digits minute by minute, spring-loaded, without the use of hands. This hands-free approach was quite a hook for watchmakers trying to bring the next big thing to the market. In 1881, this technology experienced a surge of popularity in the United States and abroad. However, much like disco, the popularity died off within about a decade, even with the backing of Swiss watchmaker IWC, the international watch company. The Austrian-designed Paul Weber movement couldn't keep up with traditional watch works. The devil of this issue was certainly in the details. With heavy discs carrying the digits, the movements on the Paul Weber digital watches required more friction. Because of this, their wines couldn't make it through a whole 24 hours without needing to be wound again, which was not competitive in the late 19th century. These movements were also primarily built by hand, which was costing IWC and other watch companies employing the watchmakers to lose quite a bit of money in overhead. So unfortunately, despite the initial popularity of these designs, watch companies backed far away from digital timekeeping. However, this was not the end for mechanical digital timekeeping. Fast forwarding to the early 20th century, mechanical digital watches had a slight comeback and similar fall from grace in the early 1920s. A particular watch of note was Audemars Piguet's jump hour design. This watch functioned a lot like a date wheel does on most modern wristwatches, but featured a jumping hour at the top of every 60 minute cycle. Being a reflection of culture, the American spirit of the Roaring Twenties had its time to shine through this digital piece. And so, it remained decently popular, until the American stock market crashed in 1929. This was the beginning of the Great Depression, as well as the end of another popular digital wristwatch trend. However, even though Piguet eventually disappeared, this still wasn't the death knell for digital. In 1972, Hamilton released their revolutionary Pulsar design. This piece sold at a whopping $2,100, equivalent to about $12,000 today. By the end of the 70s, electronic digital watches were selling for $10 a pop, solidifying the digital style as an affordable way to keep time. From that point on, key innovators like Seiko and Casio began developing their own proto smartwatches. These pieces feature things like calculators, cameras, and even built-in televisions. So even though disco died at the end of the 70s, the electronic digital wristwatch continued into the 21st century. Though the history of the digital watch has its roots in ticking gears and spinning wheels, it's made its way into a new digital frontier. With a few failed takeoffs and rough landings, digital took its time to find its legs in the watch world. But now a bona fide tradition in timekeeping, it will be interesting to see what innovations are in store for these types of timepieces. For now, keep an eye on the dial and be thankful for such an affordable piece of history. Perhaps the old guard will be brought back one day, mechanisms and all, for some old fashioned nostalgia. Until then, set an alarm, send a text, and keep on digging the modern digits on your dial. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.